Good job. Thank you. Hey guys, this is Big Sauce Steel. Back with you today, we have Tanner and Bryson. Today we have my very first mock. We'll show you all the cool features it has and what we think of it. Okay, so the first little build onto this set is the control tower. The control tower is just made up of these little circle pieces. But or just like this and it can I just found a couple of them and just built it up and then this little roof thing um, you can easily pop this off and you can stick a minifig in there and those are supposed to simulate the controls and then there's all the glass and then uh, there's this little uh, thing up top that can spin around and then it easily all clips on like, um, and that clips on easily, and then this, like, sorry. Okay, the next little part of this set is the airplane. This opens right here. It can carry luggage. And this part will open right here. And you can stick, open this and you can stick two mini figures right there. I like this little piece because it is, it's made out of like a few little pieces. And if you take one of these off, you can see there's like these connect panels right there. Back in, and you easily just put that in. The, the door opens right here. Yeah, and that, that's awesome for the reasons that people can get in. I like the airplane. Okay, so now I will be showing you the inside of the plane. As Bryson has told you, it easily pops off with this. And then you can easily pop this door off. So the first little section is the driver's seat. This, it, th these two seats can sit, fit two minifigs. And you can see these controls that uh, fly the plane. And then there's this little GPS in case they get lost. And this is where the flight attendant sits. And then this can uh, be like a little fridge that stores beverages. And then you can use this to wash your hands and stuff. And then this is supposed to hold like some snacks. As you can see, it can hold like uh, six minifigs. And it's just this little thing I made. And then you can easily Put it back in like that. So if, I don't know if you can see, but in the very back I made a little toilet. This, and then uh, this is the thing that flushes it. And then there's a bunch of these window plates. And uh, there's some wheels on the back. This wheel turns it all so it can just go like this. So, yeah, that's the inside. Okay, the next part and the only last parts of this plan are the rocket boosters right here. They are really cool because I like them. And they can spin if you can simply push those. There's two. And as you can see, this thing is, connect is the same thing as the bottom panel. 
these wings are attached to this panel, so they cannot come off unless this breaks. And this is completely tied to the set too. This can easily come off like that. And easily get it back on. And then if you lift these up, you can see your wheels. The plane has on. And also you can use this little thing to get the mini fridge up. Yeah. Okay, so now we will be moving on to the airport. I will be showing you all the action features of the airport. The first action feature is this little coffee. It's supposed to uh, pick up the luggage and then uh, hand it to the cart and the cart can uh, drive away with the luggage to the plane. The next action feature is that um, this roof can easily pop off like this. Sorry. So it pops off like that. And then you can easily access the first level. First level is, if you see it, but I'll let you see it. It's the security level. As you, as you can see, it's like the walkthrough one, and this is the back check. And this is the scanner. And then this is supposed to simulate a vending machine. And this is a bench, and these are some a line, and then there's another bench. And there's some stairs that lead up to the this door that you can easily pop open and just stick a mini figure. In. Okay, I will be showing you the last action features of this mock. It is the bottom half of this airport. As you can see, Tanner is taking off from lock the top. She's not the best at it. No one is. And then you take this off, and then you easily just rebuild it. It can't break a lot. But there's a little door right here. You can just stick it to the ground. Right here. You can easily open it and just move this door. And this right here, it grabs for luggage. Right there. So, move it right there. And then you could simply, if you don't want to do it like that, you can just go right here. And as you can see, there's like some chairs that you can wait for the check-in to get your tickets. And then there's uh, a, a uh, plate that uh, has arrivals and departures. And then there's some plates in the trash can. And that's pretty much it for the, this month, the last level of year. Overall, I think this was a super fun set to build, and let's hear what Bryson thinks of it. I think it was a really good mock. I never helped him build this because we weren't here visiting for how long he built this. I think he spent a lot of good time on the set. So, uh, this mock is roughly about eight hundred to a thousand pieces. It took me about two and a half weeks to build. And um, I really liked how it turned out. So, uh, comment what exactly what time the leprechaun and the evil scientist with the puppy hair pop up. Uh, please comment Please drop, drop a down like, like and subscribe. subscribe.
leave a comment and tell us what set we should set or mock we should do next. Bricks of Steel, signing off.